Yeah. What an incredible night. Yo. Yeah, that, that shit was awesome. Absolutely yeah. immense. That was crazy though, man. That fight was up easy. It was dope. Crazy. Right. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> damn, this, this was just so big. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what boxing needed. What's going on, everyone? I'm Hall Von Dane. That's my brother, Mr. Get That Work, and we are the Chin Checkers. Yeah. An incredible night. Yo, yeah, that, that shit was awesome. Oh, my God. I don't even know how to describe it other than that's exactly what boxing needed. From the undercard mm. to the main event. Christ. I, Everything. I, I'm kind of speechless, brother. Everything. Everything, yeah, man. Uh, I watched the preliminaries, everything. I watched the whole night, the whole mm. night, and it was a crazy night, man. It was a crazy night, and people are talking this could have been one of the biggest trilogies in heavyweight ever. And mm. well, I want to know what do you think about that? So trilogies is a stretch because the Evander. And yeah. both fight. That okay. was fucking epic. Right. Muhammad Ali and um, Frazier. But I will say this. That third fight. The third fight was the reason I fell in love with boxing. Mm -hmm. That right there. I consider myself a casual now because as much as a hardcore fan I have been my whole life, I fell out of love with the sport because it wasn't doing that. Right. Last night fucking delivered. Oh, and yeah. delivered in every way. I think that, at least in my, my recent memory, that was the best heavyweight, heavyweight fight I've seen in 15 years. Wow. I'm going that far to say that it's fight of the year right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah behind everything that's, that was behind it, the controversy coming in, the tension. I could definitely see that. Uh, what was it? Five knockdowns, and it, it was an epic night, man. It was an epic night, and I know on you know on Twitter I I, I talked about Russell Mora and that shit like that, but he didn't get in the way. He, Yo, he, he did more, a great job. Yeah, he more so he looked at like a gnat, like he looked like a little bug. Stop! Stop! I said stop! Like. Yo, he looked hilarious to me just trying to control these dudes. <laughs> Yo, he was slapping them, man. <laughs> you can hear the, the oh, you can hear the noise on their back. Yeah, but uh not in general, man. That fight, it, it was an epic fight. Uh Tyson Ferry showed why he is the best heavyweight. And he definitely came through and did he would have what he had to do. You know, he didn't throw uh that many straight down the pipes. He actually hit wilder with a lot of overhands and a lot of looping shots which i was a little surprised that wilder got caught with but it got the job done man so how did, yeah. how did you feel about wilder's performance because you're talking about fury and mm -hmm. he all the credit for three really three great boxing performances against an elite heavyweight fighter what did you take away from wilder wilder's performance i have mixed feelings because in the first fight it you know, they called it a draw. I didn't think it was a draw, but whatever. They called it a draw, but it went to 12. And in this fight, he did more training. He did a lot of stuff that he worked on in his camp. And I thought it would have had a different result. I thought Wilder would have won. I thought it would have probably went to 12 again. And that didn't happen. So I have mixed feelings about how he did. Like I said, he got caught with a lot of looping shots. Uh, maybe he needed to work more on defense, not so much strength. But um, I thought he did good early on, and he looked gassed. But he did good early on, and, you know, Fury, he looked fresh. I can't say enough good things about both fighters. Right. That shit was epic. <laughs> I, call, I, I called Fury to win. Most people did. He was the heavy favorite, especially from what he did in that second fight. Right. But the moment that fight started and the drama started happening, I found myself rooting for Wilder so much. I wanted Wilder to win. Right, I, right, yeah. I felt like a Rocky movie. <laughs> the, uh, yo, Fury got up off the canvas. He fought his fucking heart out. 
Mm-hmm. Even though he's got the L on his record, no man lost the night. That was a fucking legacy fight right there. That was a legacy fight. Yeah. No Fury beat Klinchko. Klinchko was sort of out, out of his time, slowing down. And it wasn't an epic fight. In order for you to be great, you need a great opponent, man. And this was this is what boxing's been missing for a while. Two legends going in there at the top of their game and leaving it all on the canvas. And I could not give enough respect to Wilder. He showed tremendous heart. He showed everything. And one thing I want to say is he got up off the canvas and fought hard and all that. He needed more time with his new trainer. And I said he shouldn't have jumped into an immediate rematch. And I still feel that way, even though he did well. But when I started re-watching the fight this morning, what, I do, what, what dawned on me was Emmanuel Stewart. I always say if AJ or Wilder had Emmanuel Stewart in their corner, right. they completely dominate. Even before it was on ESPN, I talked about it in the last podcast, right? Right. He's dead. Rest in peace. One of the greatest trainers of all time. Who made the adjustment first? Tyson Fury went out and got his nephew, Sugar Hill. You could see it in the second fight, and you definitely could see it in the third. That was probably the biggest adjustment Tyson Fury made and has now separated himself from any heavyweight. Now, the fact that you said what you said, uh, I'm going to take one piece out of there. You said a lot, but I'm going to take one piece out of there, and I got to ask you a question. Now that, you know, because of Fury's performance and how he did and how you said this was a legacy fight, right? Mm -hmm. Without Wilder having the best fundamentals uh, that he probably should have, and he still looked good, he still did a decent job in there, is he a great fighter? Just because you're flawed doesn't mean you're not great. Right. Because you lose doesn't mean you're not great. Just because you get knocked out doesn't mean you're not great. Mm. Character, man. Getting off that floor. Improving. He got completely washed the second fight. He didn't get completely washed this fight. It was close up until about the ninth or tenth round. It was an even fight. And he damn near had Fury reeling. He had him on the hook. He just wasn't able to pull him in. Right. Wasn't able to finish the show. Right. He His stock went up to me a hundred times. I mean, I'm happy that you feel like that. And I wish other people who are in the boxing or say that they in the boxing felt that way. Because you know how it is. You know, sometimes people feel like they can't be a fan of both. Mm. And because they're not a fan of both, they choose one side and completely just disregard anything on the other side. So the fact that you said that everything that you just said and how, yes, he can still be a great, you know, that's how a lot of the uh, community should think. That's how, that's how they should think, but you know, that's not how it is, but that's how they should think. Also, man, after a war like that, how do you not look at both and give them their respect? Regardless of the decision, they just went out there and performed for you. But then after the fight, everyone's rushing to, hey, what's next? You can say, hey, what's next for maybe Tyson because he didn't take the beating that Wilder did. Mm -hmm. But both fighters took a beating. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let's Let's embrace this classic we were given. Give them a second. After a war like that, a part of you dies. You left a part of you in that ring. You look at any great war, the fighter is no longer the same after that. Right. Dottie the Ward, um, Ali Frazier, any big war, you kind of lose a piece of yourself in that. I think both fighters need to take a break. Would like to see Fury go after Usyk and let, let's get this unified. I hope AJ, even though he exercised his rematch, decides to pull out of that. I'm not sure if he will, but I would like to see Fury go at it with Usyk and maybe 
maybe a Wilder AJ fight. But what do you have in mind for what's next? I mean, I would have to just basically piggyback off what you said. You know, yeah, Joshua is definitely going to want that rematch. Maybe it's not the best thing for him, but, you know, maybe, it, I don't know. You know, he didn't get beat, I guess, the same way Wada got beat. I just think Usyk is on another level. Usyk, to me, if he does go against Fury, I don't think he has the size. But, you know, he has great boxing skill. He probably has better defense, but he definitely doesn't have the power to to stop Fury. Mm. So I think Fury would win that unification. But yeah, I would definitely still love to see AJ and Wilder. Still, I would still love to see that fight. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Even with both guys losing, this is where greatness gets involved. That's a great fight. Yeah. It's a great fight. Even both of them come, coming off the loss. And if it has any of the drama that this fight had, that's where boxing's winning. That's where the fans are winning. I paid for this fight. And I'm, I, I got my money's worth in and some. So I'm happy, man. Well, let me ask you a quick question, a little controversial, but I'm going to ask you. We talked about it, I think, in private. After you reach a certain age in boxing, that's kind of old. Wilder is 34. Fury was 31. Uh, I believe, I, I'm not sure AJ's age, but I don't think he's 34. Do you think Wilder still has some left in the tank? Definitely, man. Yeah? I think, I think Wilder has more than AJ. I think I think I think Wilder's older than AJ, but just the eyeball test. Even in defeat, you gotta kill Wilder. You gotta kill him. I'm not sure if that's the same sense with AJ. I think with AJ is you just gotta buzz him. Right. That's the intriguing part. That's what makes this awesome. Right now, all the heavyweights, the, the hype off of this, boxing cannot go down. I mean, give the guys a break, but they still have to come off. The, they still have to go after it. Go mm -hmm. after each other and unify and fight each other. Right. Because we got a whole new crop of young guys coming out. And while they're not the athletes of these guys, they don't have the size, they do have the skill. It was a great card, man. They showed. It showed. Yeah, so let me, uh, you know, let, let me ask you that. Let's get into that right now. The whole undercard that we had <clears throat> for the main the main event, um, who was you most excited to see in that undercard? Because we, we had a couple of good fights, and I think people were really excited. I think the, the majority was F.A. against uh, Sanchez. And I was like, nah, Adam and Helena is is, is going to be a good one. That was, that was, be a good one. That was, fucking, that was awesome. I, I think the guy I like the most is Anderson. Anderson, yeah. Yeah, he looked impressive. I mean, he was in there with, uh, you know, like a, a, a bottle of fucking couch potato fucking, you know, it was, it, I mean, it wasn't a good. It was a showcase. Yeah. It was yeah. a showcase. <laughs> I ain't trying to shit on, on me. That's what it was. That's what Excuse it was. Me. But even in the showcase, you can see skill. It yeah. reminds me of an old school heavyweight. Old school heavyweight. Smaller, high IQ, fast hands, enough pop to get him out of there. I think he may be the next one. That's, really? that's where I'm going. Yeah. Don't rush him like how they rush him, uh, Baranga, or everyone's tearing Berlanga apart for getting robbed. Just groom him a little bit. You know, heavyweights, you don't want to you don't want to throw him in there too fast. Mm -hmm. I, I I could see him being the next one. Wow. I mean, that's that's saying a lot because you know, Sanchez looked he looked good. Maybe he didn't win a lot of people over with that style, but he looked he looked good. He looked like uh, Ortiz just in better shape yeah. and quicker hands. Yeah, yeah. Better athlete Ortiz, definitely. 
Right. Um, and, you know, we still got guys from the UK that still could really do their thing, like uh, Dubois and Joe Joyce. So to put Anderson up there, man, wow. All right. Yeah, give us some time. We're not going to rush him. All right, so real quick, we're going to take some comments from some of our followers. So what's going on, brother? What's your name? And let us know where you're calling from. What you think of the fight? Right, my name's Jezza Screen. I'm calling from Bristol in England. Mm. And um, wow, what a big banger of a fight. That was a cracker. Absolutely yeah. immense. Um, I've not seen anything that big since the last one. As good as that was Nigel Benn against Chris Eubanks. Oh, wow. And before that, would have would have been rumble in the jungle. There was nothing. This, this, this was just so big. Yeah. Oh. And to get up twice, you know, he wasn't out. He, he was there. He went down, uh, Fury. You could see he even gave a little grimace on his face as if he knew he, he was put down, but I'm getting back up. Mm. And um, wow, that was just the fight of kings. It was. It gave me respect for, for Deontay Wilder. I had zero respect for Deontay Wilder beforehand. Um, I got respect for him as he kept going like a machine, mm. but that machine got switched off in the end and ran out of gas. Um, so real, real quick, but, to ask you wow. a question, because yeah. Wilder showed tremendous heart in that fight, and I just want to know your opinion, because... Uh, while I like Wilder, my favorite fighter was Anthony Joshua. But the last two fights have left a bad taste in my mouth towards him. So I'm curious. Yeah. What is your take on Anthony Joshua now? Um, he's a lovely guy. Absolutely lovely guy. Um, I, I'm an entertainer, so I, I entertain with a lot of boxers. Uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting him. An amazing guy. Huge mm. heart. Great fighter. Fury's gonna Fury take him out, no matter of a doubt. I do not think that fight will happen. I not an art, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, you know, it'd be a money if it does, it'd be like the Pacquiao uh, Mayweather, it'd just be a money spinner at the end, end of his career. Mm. Um well, how do you but feel- he, you know he's an, an amazing fighter? Yeah. How how do you feel about Wilder versus Agent? I think Wilder would go with caution, possibly. Mm-hmm. But again, he'd have he'd have something to prove. I think he'd probably go out all out again at the start, you know, all guns blazing. Um, and if he wouldn't take, if he didn't take uh, AJ out in in two rounds, AJ would have mounted in the third or fourth. You know, it, he bangs hard. Um, again, I don't know if Eddie will let that happen. Mm. We need it. Would be nice. It needs to happen. <laughs> Yeah, it needs to happen, doesn't it? It's got to happen. He's yeah. got. He, he has. AJ has to fight either Fury or Wilder, and it's not going to be Fury. We know that. Yeah. Um. So he, he's got to go for Wilder. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's switch gears real quick. How do you think Usyk and Fury match up? Usyk really doesn't have the size, but he has great boxing skill. No, but yeah, yeah. That we're, we're talking. Two guys, that that would go right to the very end, I think. Um, mm. Possibly, it might, you know, if, you're, if anyone's going out, Fury would take out Usyk without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but I think it would just be like a, the best chess game ever because look at Usyk. He's, <laughs> very he is just so technical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Small, but just technical. Unbelievable technical. Um I've followed him for a few years now, and I've I've known that he's something special. Um, and as much as I love AJ, I was in Uzik's corner, you know, like Shaq rooting for Uzik right. when when that fight was on. Um, right. And I shouldn't have because I'm a Brit, but I was that like yes, as soon as he, <laughs> like who you like, it. you like who you like. There you know that's what it is. Yes, uh, yeah, so- yeah. You, you know who are worthy of it, who yeah. who's earned it. Right. Um, I'm not saying AJ hasn't, but Uzik's really, really earned it to go work what he's done, come up a level, mm. and school them. Jezza, Jezza, I appreciate you coming on with us, man. I thank you for your opinion and hope thank you for the time, man. Hopefully, yeah. we can get Thanks another. Thanks for having big me on. I'm, I'm only an armchair fan. 
you know, it's I, I take my hat off to these guys. They get in the ring. They've done things that I wasn't prepared to do. Yeah. Um, so you've got to take your hat off to them. They're, they're yeah. absolute warriors, every single one of them. doesn't matter whether they win or lose. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Agree. Thank you for having me on. Thank All you, right, brother. Bro. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good What's going one. on, brothers? What's up, <laughs> what's up, man? What's good, man? Bro, listen, listen. Before I begin, I told you. <laughs> 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 Listen, just, had to get that off. Make sure you got that off first. All right. <laughs> Real quick, let all our guests know we got John Saval, host of Dinner at the Round Table Podcast. Yeah, appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate right, you guys. Baby. Always love. Yeah. Yo, it, it, it was a great fight though, overall though. I mean, I can't take that away though. I mean, it was a great fight though. It was a great fight. It was fight. Uh, it was uh, five knockouts, right? I mean, five um drops, right? Yeah. Like, I mean. That was crazy, though, man. I mean, I didn't expect that. You know what I mean? I can't mm. I mean, I, I'll, be, I'll be real about it. I'll always pick boxing over power. Always. Always, right. man. Because skills pays the bills. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can't take away from Wilder, though. Like, he had a lot of heart. Um, but I didn't like being, you know, being straightforward, though, how he ain't really, like, was a part of that whole post-conference of talking about, you know, his loss. Like, he just, you know left the fucking ring and that was it. You know what I mean? I didn't like that though, man. I mean, if you take an L, take it graciously, you know what I'm saying? And learn from it. And that's it, man. That's how you grow. I mean, learning begins with failure. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what they didn't like about Wilder though. I kind of yeah. feel like in a war like that, man, your emotions are going. He left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it, it, it's not like he completely spit and disrespected on this guy and did a Conor McGregor or anything like that. Yo, he lost. He was hurt. He took a beating. He wasn't a gracious loser. Let, let's chalk it up through emotions and I kind of <laughs> give him a pass. I'm going to give him a pass. You give him a pass? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't. I can't do that, man. Nah. I, I, I think with all the, the tension and the controversy from the previous fights, I I def, I give him a pass too because the, that's not the worst loser I've seen. I mean, there's certain people who've done way worse than that. And, you know, just an example right off the top is Pacquiao and Brona. About to fight. What you, I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. I wasn't even upset how Brona performed, but the shit that he said in the post interview, he should have just left. He, he should have not said anything because that shit was way worse. So I, I, I give Wild a pass for that. You know, like Hawk said, probably a lot of emotion behind it, but it was a great fight, man. It was a great fight. I, I wish Wilder would have had a bit more defense. I think if he would have had a bit more defense, it probably would have went all the way. Um, cause he was getting hit with a lot of looping and wide shots. It wasn't even straight down the pipe. It was a lot of looping and wide shots. So if he would have had more head movement, I think, you know, he would have took less punishment, but overall it was a good fight. And Tyson Fury, uh, he did his thing, man. He did his thing. No, I definitely agree on that. I mean, falls like his defense though, for Wilder though. Yeah. Like there was kind of, I mean, it was suspect though, man. Like he did it. I mean, like you said right now, he had no like head movement though. Like, I mean, and Fury knew that though. He knew that. Like, he knew that Torres, like, I mean, he could actually hit him. And that's why he took advantage, you know what I'm saying? But again, though, it goes with, like, the, you know what I mean, having that boxing background, though, understanding the whole science of boxing, you know? And, I mean, you know, I mean, I was kind of surprised, though, that Fury got dropped, though. Like, I was like, whoa, wow, he got dropped. Like, yeah, he got while, while the, while the did look like he improved. Head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look like he improved. Yo, real quick, John, before we get out of here. yeah. What do you think is the next move for both guys? I think for Wilder, he needs to really just, like, take the time off, though, and really see exactly where he want to go at for his career, though. Because his career is not over, though. I think, I mean, like, he still has a name. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, just take the time off. Um, I want to recommend, like, you know, finding some Uber drivers, like you said in the last episode. Right. <laughs> but um, I think, like, you know what? Once you able, I mean, once you you know recoup yourself, because I mean that's a hard loss though, man. Because I mean that's just two straight L's that you got dominated still. You know what I mean? Although he got a you know he dropped you know Fury twice, but he still got dominated though. He still did. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, got to really you know reassess yourself 
And I mean, just kind of like, you know, figure yourself out and, you know, from there, just go from there. You know what I'm saying? But I will always you know what I would recommend for, for, for Wilder though, that like, once you're ready, then, you know, you got to make sure that, you know, you get a fight that is going to, you know, bring back your name like that. Although you still have a name though. For Furies, um, damn, I think it's only logical, man. Like you got to unify, bro. <laughs> you got to unify, man. You got to make yeah. history again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it all depends on the Joshua and the Usyk fight. So we don't know. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, in a perfect world, we'll get to see Wilder and uh, Joshua. And I would like to see Usyk and uh, Fury, even though, and I, I talked about this with Hawk, Usyk is good, but he doesn't have the height. And yeah. because he doesn't have the height and most likely he doesn't have the power, I don't see him winning that fight, but UC got heart and he has skills. So he's going to go in there anyway. He's going to go yeah. in there anyway. And um, it should be a good fight. But I think Fury would definitely win that fight. So because I think we're all in agreement that Fury would win that fight, who do we think would win with Joshua and Wilder? Yeah, that's a tough one, though, man. Because I think that fight's going to end up with, an, uh, with a knockout. But I can't really call it, though. I mean, more. I think more people actually more to Wilder because mm -hmm. I mean you know we see that Josh has been more portable as far as being you know drops more. Yeah. But at the same time though, Josh still got power too though, man. So we can't knock that away. Yeah. But I mean that'd be a very interesting fight though. Oh yeah. Know, really I, know. Yeah. I think that's the next big one, man. Yo, yeah. John, appreciate you jumping on, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The last thing, <laughs> <year>, right? <laughs> what a hell of a night, yo. Yeah. Hey, yo, yo, before you go on. I told you I want to be two hundred dollars <laughs> richer. <laughs> told you. Um, later, Playboy. Later. <laughs> yeah, I love you guys, man. All right, brother. Oh man. Man, I want to give a chin checkers welcome to Bohemian Boxing Report. For those of y'all that don't know, he goes to all the fights. He interviews all the fighters, whether they pro or amateur. If you want to check out his stuff, we're going to leave a link in the description. You got to follow this guy. If you know anything about fighting, you got to check out my brother, bro. Yo, yeah. did you get to see the fight last night? What did you think? Yeah, I appreciate it. What's up? Um, That fight was off the easy. It was dope. <laughs> now, now, uh, let, me, let me start off with saying this. Obviously, it wasn't an overall good performance from a technical aspect of boxing for Deontay, right? Um, right. That's apparent. However, the fight itself overall is far about being entertaining and um, just getting everybody in. Like, I was in the living room watching it, right? And I haven't made that much noise for a fight in, in a minute. It was like a Rocky movie, you know what I mean? So yeah. when, the, when the alerts was coming in on Instagram and on my phone, like, I ignored it because I wanted to focus on the fight, but that was just my response in between the rounds. It was like, yeah, it was a Rocky movie. So I appreciate it from that standpoint. And 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 hats off, like literally speaking, like hats off, right? To Deontay just for making it to the eleventh round. Definitely. Being so fatigued and hurt. Um, from I think we, we started seeing that maybe round four, where it was kind of like, oh yeah, yo, it's yeah. things are shaky. Like, yeah, he got hurt early, man. Yeah, so so his leg was already precarious and whatnot. And I, uh, yeah, I, I I actually didn't see him even making it anywhere near close to the 11th round. I thought he was either going to fault or the referee was going to be like, yo, enough is enough, B. But, um, yeah, so hats yeah. off to him for that. But, and I think it, I appreciated it. Like, like yeah, that right. So real cool. quick, with him working with Malik Scott, what did you think about the adjustments that he made from the second fight to the third fight? I thought he should have took a tune-up fight. But did, did you see any improvement, any adjustments? Okay, I I would say, oh. Mm. I think he's with me on this one because I had mixed mm. feelings about it. Because Dang, I said yeah. in the first fight, the very I first am. fight, he went all 12 rounds. Yeah. The next two, he got knocked out. How much of improvement did he really make? Uh, okay. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> overall, overall, yeah. I think Malik was able to connect with him in a spiritual 
mental way that Breland mm. has not. I, I, I think they have more of a brotherhood thing going on. And I think that helps as far as what they do in concentration camp. And mm. I think it even serves the purpose of what happens when in the corner, as his chief said. However, I don't believe I've seen anything as far as a change of improvement in Deontay's jab, uh, their right hand. Uh, I don't like that muscle. I don't like them big shoulders. Um, he already had naturally big shoulders, so I guess yeah. playing football before and when he in over the years before he came into boxing. Uh, I did not see but one uppercut that I counted. He could not get off a hook. I don't know if it's the, the arms was too big or maybe I just never even paid the no real mind that Deontay really doesn't throw accurate technical hooks from not the really. lead or the rear. But really. I didn't see anything impressive like that. Maybe he just really got over on a lot of opponents with that jab, 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 wait till they blindside it and then they don't see the right hand coming. But I didn't see any type of technicalities or technical uh, like improvements that I, that I thought I would see because I know Malik, the odd guy, Scott, is very technical mm -hmm. as far as an instructor, like a teacher of boxing. So I really was expecting to see Chris short hook some Deontay, and we didn't. The hooks he was throwing, you seen a mile away, and it was damn near touching the the the, the deltoid and, and yeah. Fury's back. Like now, I I agree with you, bro. I just think he it takes more time with a trainer for your muscle memory to adjust. Uh, I think he just needed a little more time with Malik, man. But um, I'm going to say this real quick before you get out of here. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to see from both fighters? Who do you want to see next for Tyson Fury? And who do you want to see next for Wilder? Uh, hmm. uh, I, I think I'll start with the, the Wilder question first. Um, I'm about ready for Wilder and Joshua. Oh yeah, I think Everybody. I think for obvious reasons. Um, I you know, I don't want to just go for like I, they both took recent losses and it it kind of makes sense. But yeah, it makes sense. So what? So I'm saying, and uh, and Fury. Uh, who do I want to see for Fury? You want to see him uh, unify with Usyk? No, no, no. I I think that happened with Usyk, and I think he had. That uh, that success because it was Joshua. I don't think he's gonna have that success with a man that, like Fury that yeah. actually knows how to box and know how to slip punches, and he's not gonna have the success. So I don't want to see that. Um, and if the fans want to see it, so what? Um, they have their opinion, the same way I have mine. But I don't think that's gonna be something that's gonna wow us this, the way it did last night. I want to see Fury in it with another big man. Bottom line. Mm. So oh, so man. so 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 how about this? If I was going to be really ideal and set it up like in my own movie script, I would have Joshua and Wilder pop off. And, and remember, it's my script. So I'm going to have Joshua win on scorecards, and then Joshua and Fury's going to get into it. Mm, that, that, That's my movie script. Yeah, that would be dope. I feel yeah. that if Wilder does lose again, but that, I definitely want to see that. Yo, Bohemian Boxer Report, make sure to subscribe to his channel, man. I can't thank you enough for jumping on. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. You, man. Very welcome. Thank you for reaching out to me. Uh, I appreciate it. It's cool talking with you guys. Definitely, Hi, Playboy. Brother. I'll see you at another event, man. All right, then. Peace, God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Real quick, everyone. I got my brother, Wole, here. Give him an introduction. Let him know where you're calling from and everything about your podcast, brother. Oh yeah, my name is Wole. Uh, I got a podcast called the Urban Sports Scene Podcast. We do most, and we we locate out here in the DMV. That's the, for folks who don't know, it's the Washington D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Uh, we say area because that's how we talk around here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so we cover like the Washington football team, uh, Washington Wizards, um, baseball, you know, Nationals, and what's and, and so forth. And also, you know, we talk a lot. We talk a lot of boxing. Okay, uh, but yeah. So, you, so you guys were covering the, the the sports and everything. Last night was a crazy, a crazy night for boxing. Cra crazy. What do you think about the yeah. fight, man? Oh man, I loved it, man. Well, to me, it's fire of the year, bro. Like it's fire of the year. It's one of the best fights I've seen. You know, the first folks you say Usyk and Joshua was fire of the year, but this beats it hands down. It's a contrast to styles. I think we all saw that. 
Um, Fury is the, is the greatest dance part in the world when you got Fury and Wilder. They just work well together. One is waiting for that one punch and one is ready to put combinations together. But we got to give credit to, first, we give credit to, to Wilder because Wilder, what he did and showed the toughness that he showed, right? It was something that's spectacular. And I think at least you know in this fight, in that fight, he went out the way he wanted to go out. What I mean by that is like, yeah, he ain't the most beautiful tactician in the ring, but he let everything go. And he was on go trying to hit land that right hand by any means necessary. It just, you know, he's fought a, a more gifted boxer. And that's the problem. You know, a boxer typically nine times out of 10 beats the puncher. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, real quick. So what do you think? What's next? What do you want to see Wilder do? What do you want to see Fury do? I mean, I want to see, Fu I mean, I folks get on me to hate on me. I want to see Fury versus Usyk. You know what I mean? I think, you know, to me, these are two high level boxers. You know what I'm saying? I want to see if Fury can beat a Usyk, a talented boxer. I mean, I, I, I'm a Deion, I'm a Anthony Joshua dude, but I, I recognize game for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like right. when you skilled in that boxing game and boxing ring, it is what it is. When you see a guy who's that good and Usyk is that good, I want to see him. I want to see Fury fight a guy like that because at the end of the day, we can gas up. I mean, Fury is the best boxer in the game, heavyweight boxer in the game. I'm not taking that away from him, but his mega fights have all been against Deontay Wilder. Other than Klitschko, his all his big fights have been against Deontay Wilder. So it's time to see him fight against somebody different. We know what Deontay brings to the table. Like, that's not a hard. We know what he brings. It's one punch. It's that right hand. But now when you fight another dude with more versatility, how do you respond with that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Definitely. This was definitely a legacy fight, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you this. You said you wanted to see, you know, Usyk unify with Fury. And I do, too. Yeah. I'm one of those that feel like that. But... The fight coming in with Wilder, Fury probably came in, let's say, 275. Yeah. And Wilder probably came in 240. Yeah. And I asked Hawk this question earlier. Do you think there should be a super heavyweight? Because you have one guy that's 40 pounds lighter than the yeah, other guy. Tough. And, you know, yeah, they, these are big guys, but one guy is 40 pounds heavier. Do you think there should be a super Super heavyweight? I mean, it, it definitely is unfair. I know, I, I know what you're talking about. It is unfair in that aspect. But, you know, I, I grew up watching Mike, and Mike, was, Mike Tyson was always smaller than the next man. But we was mm -hmm. always scared about that, that thump, right? It was, we were scared about that thump. Mike was always a smaller heavyweight, but he gives you that pain. Wilder brings you that pain, the difference between Wilder and Mike. And, you know, you know if you got to watch, Mike boxed at a certain extent. Like, you know, once he, le when he, once he, was, once he left, went a certain way, you know, jail, losing customata and all that other stuff, then Mike changed a little something. But Mike boxed. Wilder doesn't box there. He just looks for that one punch, which is different. And that, therefore it makes it harder for him to fight against a bigger heavyweight like a Tyson Fury. But best believe if he put punches together and if his skill was better, he beats Tyson Fury. I don't, I don't, I, that's a fact. Even with the weight, he beats Tyson Fury. If he's not, not just waiting for that one punch. I think we all watched it. He's telegraphed in his right hand. Like oh, yeah. it is what it is. So you're giving that individual that opportunity to know it's coming. The, the cool thing, the skill thing about Wilder is you know it's coming. And he can still, it can still do damage to you. That's the cool thing about Deontay. But at the same time, if he was more skilled, he can beat he can beat Deontay. Like, I mean, he beat Fury. Same thing with Usyk. We saw Usyk is smaller than Joshua, but he's skilled. Yeah. Therefore, he can be. And, and Joshua was skilled not as a skilled boxer himself. And Joshua did things to allow Usyk to do what he needed to do. But Usyk. Mm -hmm. He's skilled, and therefore Usyk, he can beat him. Huh? Do you think? Do you think Usyk stands a chance? Well, I do against bro. Fury. I do. See, I think he brings a different thing to the table. You can lean um, on. Can you catch me? Can you catch me? Can you? Are you able to? Can, I feel Usyk can cut off the ring better than Joshua. You know what I'm saying? There are things he can do. Now, this is. I'll put this argument. This is the thing I'll do with Usyk. If it goes twelve, Usyk wins. Mm, that I will tell uh, you. Oh, I'll if it goes lot. twelve, now if it stopped, if it stopped. If it's, a, it's the only way, if it goes short, it's definitely Fury. But if it goes 12, it's Usyk. Because that means Usyk has, was able to maintain your punches and he was able to get off. Usyk's going to get off. He's mm. going to get off and win rounds. That's what he's going mm. to do. Because he's going to sidestep you. He's going to move around. He's going to cut off the ring. He's going to hit you on angles. He's going to do all that. The, thing, the cool thing for, like, Fury knows what Joshua's going to be at. I mean, not Joshua. Fury knows what, I'm sorry, Wilder's going to be at. He knows where he's going to be at. You don't know where Usyk's going to be at. He's not going to, he's going to make you think. So if you're going 12 with Usyk and he goes, if it goes a distance, you get that Usyk. I don't care anybody tell me. I'll take that over anything. 
Wow. Yo, 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 Wale, <laughs> man, I appreciate you jumping on, man. You killed it, man. And we got the no link for everyone to check out your podcast, man. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. Bye, brother. All right, appreciate All you. All right, bro. The work was good, bro. I, I, I was drinking away my pain, son. I ain't going to hold you, man. <laughs> I was drinking away my pain. I got up late. I was like, oh, my goodness, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely didn't rush to my phone this morning. I was just like, oh, no, I don't even want to do it. I already know what it's going to be. My boy, my boy, he, he called me. He called me like four or five times after the fight. I just, I, I cut my phone off. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I cut my phone off and I went and made a drink. I ain't going front. I was like, <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Was, yo, yo, but are, are they no moral victories? Because so, I feel like he won me over, man. This was a legacy fight. I feel like he won me over. Uh, I, what I was telling you before, man, I, you know, I'm a Wilder fan. I'm sad he's getting the credit now. And like that kind of like, I mean, it was a great performance, but like the ending, the like, you know, the conclusion, I, I you know, he that's going to be part of his legacy. And I was like, ah. That was yeah. not. That was yeah. that was tough, bro. That was tough when he went down. It was tough, but I felt like he. I felt like he was spent. He was tired from around the fourth round. He started looking tired, and mm -hmm. the fact that he last he last that long, like you know what I mean. He went that long with the beating that he was taking at certain parts of the fight. I, I get it why people was like, "Yo, I'm a fan now. I'm a fan now," but it hurts, bro. It hurts. I was like, ah, it hurts. And at forty. I was telling Dame that extra forty pounds made a difference. Yeah, that forty pounds, that forty pounds yeah. made a difference. He he fought small, Fury fought small, and he used that weight. I don't think I don't think I don't think Dame thinks so much, but I feel like certain spots early in the fight where he would throw he would throw a one two, and he would just smother uh, Wilder shots. And when he was smothering, he's putting him in a, like a headlock. He's holding him. He's doing everything, putting all that weight, that forty pounds on him, over and over and over. And while they're missing those big shots, losing all that energy early, it didn't help. But I was just sitting there watching, like, oh, I was making another drink, another drink. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough. I'm like, oh yo, man, yo, yo. The thing is, I was actually rooting for him. I wanted him to win when yeah. he got off the floor. Uh huh. He started fighting back. Yo, yeah, yeah. my jaw was yeah, I, I didn't care who won at that point. I was just like, I'm a fan. Yo, they Yo. I'm a, <laughs> a fan, but yeah. in my heart, I was rooting for Wilder. I was like, come on, man, you can pull it out. Just have your rocky moment. And though he didn't get the W, I don't feel like he lost, man. Yeah, yeah. Legacy wise, he did. He, they needed each other to make the legacy grow. And you know, you know, it's crazy that, you know, I just said this to Dame just before you got on, Rome, how, you know, a lot of people who I guess wasn't Wilder fans and they criticized his skill and saying now uh, he's not in anywhere close to Fury, you know what I'm saying, being on a Fury status with his skill. But after Fury beats him, Fury is considered one of the greatest like um boxes so it's just like so you beat somebody who you know before you wanted to criticize and say mm -hmm. that he's not great but after he beats him then this guy is great mm -hmm. you know very good, good point yeah so it just shows like you said now people are, are, are wilder fans because of that performance but it still does hurt if you was a wilder fan from the beginning this does hurt mm -hmm. uh, you know i expected him to work on more defense he got hit with a lot of looping shots yep you yep. know, I could see you getting hit with straight down the pipe. You know, Fury got the longer reach, so I can see that happening. But he got hit with a lot of looping shots. A lot. And he should have rolled with some punches. He was pulling straight back. And I understand mm. that he's big and tall, but you can't, you still can't pull straight back. You kind of, you still got to move to the side move a little either. something. He mm. needed more defense. If he would have had more defense, I would feel okay about the loss if it went 12 rounds. Like yeah. you said, because of the way it ended, it hurt. Mm -hmm. I I don't know what round it was, but he hit he hit um Wilder hit free with an uppercut when he was coming in, and it was right. like late in the when he was already. I'm like, bro, like why wasn't that a part of it? That that's a little part of defense too. Like when a guy mm -hmm. coming, he put that weight on you, make sure you you touch him up. He was doing a little bit like throwing little pity pack stuff on when it was tying up. But you're right, his defense did it. it probably took a little step back. 
because he was he he was getting hit with a lot of loot. Like when I started when I started watching it, that's the first thing I said. I'm like, damn, he getting hit with that like an overhand right hand. Like I don't remember him getting hit with that before. Like right. he getting hit with that. Like and he was getting hit with it consistently, consistently yeah. throughout the fight. But it, it, but I, it, very you you brought a very good point. It's true, man, because. People wasn't people really wasn't giving Wilder that credit, but like now it's like, oh, and yeah. I was telling Dame, I was like, I was a, I was, a, I'm just mad he's getting that credit. I felt like he deserved, he deserved that credit a few fights ago, but he's getting it now. So, I mean, I, I guess I got to take it, but it was tough. It was a tough, it was a tough fight. It was a tough fight to deal with. Just the conclusion, the fight right. was yo, amazing. Yo, the, yo, the thing, the thing is though, he, he's actually. All the stuff he was saying about his greatness, Wilder, talking about how he's the like the the modern day Tyson, how Tyson mm-hmm. before any Hall of Famous. This fight actually legitimized a lot of his talk. He's True. just a puncher. He's not as skilled as a lot of heavyweights. He's an exceptional athlete, tall, fast, with unbelievable generational power. So all the skills that people are referring to is still there because he didn't counter well. He didn't have great defense against Fury, but he showed the power, the heart. He showed everything that defines greatness. I get you. Just not a great boxer. Mm-hmm. Proved tonight, in my opinion, he proved He's a great fighter. I'm a great fighter. And I agree. No one can take that away from him. No, yeah. I don't care what he says on his record. Mm. You see AJ get hit versus Clinch go and he got up, show greatness. When he got hit by Andy and he became, you know, his pupils look like he took a hit of some some white girls. <laughs> Wilder, Wilder didn't look like that. Wilder got up and looked like a killer, even being wobbled. And actually, man, yo, but the- but that's what I'm saying, though. I felt everything that you're saying about him. I felt like that fights ago, and I and I, I was ups- I felt upset like he wasn't getting the credit. I'm like, bro, this guy is a warrior. He's the American heavyweight that we've been crying and complaining about for 25 years. He fights everybody. He doesn't run. He he bites down and fights. Like you know what I mean. But I felt like his. His um boxing ability was criticized, critiqued too much, almost mm. like they people trying to find a reason to to knock him. But like you know, now he's go, he's getting the credit like worldwide now that I felt like he should have been should have but should have been getting. But work work was definitely right though that that defense that defense wasn't on point. Do you think there should be a super heavyweight, or do you think heavyweight is just it is what it is? Because you know, what do you think? <laughs> It, it, it's something they might have to start considering because, like, don't it's they got super heavyweights and Olympics and stuff, and they kind of break. They this something they gotta they have to start considering because um, if and let's say let's say it was a twenty pound weight difference or fifteen pound weight difference, I think even that it would have been a, ch- a different fight because Fury tactics would have been as effective. You know what I mean? Putting 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 that weight on somebody. That isn't that that's a that's a good strategy. And that that did matter because to me it seemed like Wilder never got his second win. He never got his feedback. If you look at the end of the fight, obviously Fury put, you know, Fury won the fight, laying more punches and stuff. He looked, he looked fresh. They, this might be the fight where they start considering it. Like it can't be a 40 pound weight difference. Like, come on, guys, like it can't be 40 yeah. pounds. Like now, now, real, real, quick, real quick to jump in there and play devil's advocate. Sound like my man work here to jump. Yeah. In. <laughs> it was a strategy, and it worked in the favor of Fury. Mm-hmm. But it just happened to be a strategy that worked because mm-hmm. if you look at the AJ fight versus Usyk, he outweighs him by twenty pounds. Mm-hmm. It didn't work, sure. and maybe it didn't work because of Usyk skill. And mm. the reason it worked in this fight is because Wilder technically doesn't have Usyk skill or could even match uh, Fury's skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Devil's advocate, you know? <laughs> yeah, no I, no, I feel you, bro. But but let, let me let me play devil's advocate, devil's advocate, man. 
<laughs> Yo, 280 pounds, bro. That's a lot of weight, son. That's a lot of that's a lot of weight. So when you get when you start getting in that realm where the guy's like close to 300 pounds, six nine, like give me a fighter that can, can really compete against that. Like so a heavyweight. This, hold on. Like, wouldn't it have been a better strategy for someone, a lighter guy, to do what Usyk did and stick and move? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. But it, it, it just I, may be that Wilder doesn't have that in his arsenal. And okay. So let me devil advocate, the devil advocate, the devil advocate, the devil advocate. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think with Usyk skills, he can beat Fury? Even with Fury being that much taller, 6'9", compared to 6'3", he has a way longer reach, and he's much heavier than him. Do you think with Usyk skills, he can beat Fury? No. (laughs) (laughs) That was quick. That was quick. (laughs) I don't even need to break it down. No. (laughs) Uh, He was like, nah, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Uh, listen, man, Wilder, Wilder Power was official, bro. Like, he, like, you see when he hit Fury, you see Fury's yeah. whole body was shaking. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo. I, I wish he would have went, I wish he would have went and emptied the tank there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. And next two rounds, I wish he would have just went after, it. like, fuck it, go for broke, you know. Right. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I guess he tried to remain with his strategy but it didn't work out but just to wrap it up i'm gonna ask you rome uh all right so do you want to see a unification with fury and Usyk? would you want to see that and what would you want to see from wilder next would you like to see wilder and aj do you think those should be the two fights i think that's the most you know called fight right now for fans Mm -hmm. what do you feel like well uh, honestly, I wanted the unification, but I wanted I wanted Fury and Joshua. <laughs> That's yeah. so that I wanted okay. that. You know what I mean? I wanted the unification, but I wanted those two guys to fight for it. Um, I, if I was Wilder, I don't think I'm gonna jump. I, I probably I, he's 35. I might say I'm. I don't know if I'm jumping right back in with another big fight. Like I might I might take the Uber driver now. Like if I'm Wilder, if if I'm Wilder, I might take a quick Uber driver because that kind of fight, bro, that kind of performance you just had, that take years off your fighting life. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So I, I would like to see Wilder and Joshua too, though. I would like to see that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Joshua, Joshua got that rematch clause. I feel like he's going to win the rematch. I think he's going to win the rematch. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's gonna win the rematch. I think he, I think he's gonna make I think he's gonna make the proper adjustments and he's gonna win the rematch. And then I think that Fury and Joshua fight the dream that that dream fight that I want to see. I think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm proud of Wilder. Though. I, I'm proud of Wilder. I just want him to chill, just chill for a second, like yeah, just yeah. chill no more. Because I'm listen. Look look at the last two. His last two losses, man. Last loss was bad losses, man. He he, he got he got he got handled pretty well. I appreciate y'all letting me vent, man. This, this is like my yeah. little therapy. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was in the bottle, bro. Like I was drinking, like ah, I'm like, come on. <laughs> but yo, good looking, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Oh, hey, the road, man. brother. All right, bless. All right, guys. All right, work. Later, brother. All right, man. Yo, that was just such a great night for boxing, man. They were no losers, man. And- no, it, it wasn't, man. Everybody was a winner. Um, it, it was a lot the, the, the entire night, the event, the whole event won. Everybody who paid for it, everybody who was there, everybody won because we got an instant classic. It was something that's going to be talked about for ages. Yes. And, you know, it, it, this is what, like you said, makes you love the sport. Oh, yeah. This is what makes you love the sport. But, um, hey, guys, we're going to wrap it up. We appreciate y'all. We're going to have more content coming. And, um, yo, everybody be well, be good. We'll be signing out. Definitely. Make sure to subscribe and follow all our guests, too. Yeah, yeah. Later, work.